Edgar Obare Instagram account is missing and he is missing in action after he trended for a whole week due to the recent expose of the wash wash business in Kenya. For those who don't know who Edgar Obare is, he's the real team master who has been exposing celebrities and politicians with receipts on Instagram. Right now people are panicking after his IG account seems to have been deactivated. This comes after the recent expose of the money launderers in Kenya where many people uploaded him for for being brave enough knowing that these people are powerful and dangerous. If you search Edgar Obare, his verified account is not appearing. Only the fake and fan pages are being found. This is the last audio he posted before his disappearance. Edgar, una balls za chuma ama wa? <laughs> Ushaisikia kucheza na makende ya Simba? Eh? Umekanyaga moto na si ya maka. Hmm? Fanya hivi. Nita kusaidia. Bora ukiwa ipi wacha yangu usionge. Wuhu uneza kwa saku ongea kweli. Sikia. Mali uko. Change simu. Uwanze kutumia mulika muizi. Saba. Change simu wenye unatumia. Na mahali uko. Toka hapo uende mahali mtu hajui. Mahali beste yako. Mahali mtu. Yani mahali mtu hajui. Uende ukae kama wiki mbili umechezea moto na si ati nakutisha sio mimi nakutisha mimi sina noma but kuna watu umetoa story zao na wanaga hebu nikuulize swali unaona ule boy kevo kevo alishandwa watu juu ya kevo alishandwa juu ya kufikiria yani walimfikiria amewakosea wakamshanda na wajaifungwa sasa hebu Edgar elewa kitu moja hii ni Kenya So, hao watu wanapiga hizi deal, wanapeaga gava, wanapeaga system kitu. Najua ju mimi nimeolewa na mmoja wao. Wanapeaga system do. Ndio maana unaona kwa gazeti mnaambiwa mtu anatafutwa lakini in real life ako kwa club anakunywa. Mtu anaenda anapewa bail ya sijui 300,000 hata milioni na kwa account akona milioni mia. What's that? Yaani In other words, gavana itatumika kukushika wewe na gavana itatumika kukufunza adabu wewe. Yaani wanataka kutumia makarao kukunyamazisha. Tafadhali. Mi najua wewe unajaribu kufanya tu venye watu wewe unajaribu wewe ni your true hustler. Achana ama follow anajiita hustler nation huko nje. Wewe unajaribu ku survive bila kuiba ama bila kufanya kufanya ufala zenye watu wengine wanafanya huko nje. To me You are much better than the four. Afu sasa, unajua ni nini na washua? Yo, sijui kama nafani kuambia hivi, but wacha tu nikuambie ndio uchukue hizi message serious usione ni kama tu nakuamdikia ati ati nakuambia tu juu naweza ongea. Mtu mkubwa kabisa kwa hii game ya 419. Mtu mwenye amefanya hii mchezo ime, inachezeka. Mtu mwenye anafanya hata washiki awashikwi. Mtu mwenye anawaprotect na mtu mwenye anawaonesha njia ni DP. DP amekuwa sana na u, u, na, 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 na unye kwa sababu ya kufanya wash wash. Uwezi kwa we ni deputy president alafu unafanya biashara haramu, una sabotage the economy. Do ili change waju ya DP na hizi mchezo zao. Walikuwa na clean do mob sana do ika change wa juu yao sasa hebu niambie watu network imeenda mpaka top of the cream sasa mpaka sasa hivi unaona amechange wa gods sababu anatumia gods zake vibaya anatumia mamlaka yake vibaya kucheza hizi deal za uongo ule mtakisha likuwa hapa hata yeye hizo ni hizo deal tu alikuwa amekuja kufanya unakumbuka ile deal ya mabunduki ile deal ya echesa akishikwa akipatikana na mabunduki um, um, sijui ame alikuwa ameenda ku, ku alikuwa amekuja kufanya mkutano ya kununua mabunduki kwa ofisi ya DP alafu kukatoka gadi ya DP akamadwa sasa sikia eh hiyo game hiyo 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 game iliendaje gun zilikuwa zibaiwe na zilikuwa za museveni unaelewa so gun zilikuwa zibaiwe na DP 
in on behalf of Museveni. Ju Museveni anajulikana na international community anajulikana. So yeah, hezi yani unless atumie formal way of which ni military na hata saa hii hezi yani amewekewa sanctions fulani wewe hawezi. Unaelewa US kikukanyagia imekukanyagia. But sasa DP alikuwa anataka kutumia nji upawa yake kusaidia Museveni ndio na yeye asaidiwe na Museveni venye unaona mambo inaanza kufunguka funguka saa hii. Ni kunoma usione nchi imenyamaza tu Uwezi niambia watu wana export magari, wanazilipia ushuru, gava inajua. Gava ikona, ikona intelligence kubwa sana mbaka inajua ganani, nani. Mi mwenyewe na ungea na wewe sahi hivi, mi niliachanaga na mtu wangu juu ya kuandamua na kara. Na, na, na wanaituaji private intelligence. Private intelligence wanakuja, wanakuhonga hao wenyewe, wanakupatia vitu, vitu fulani, unapandikiza kwa jako, kwa kiatu ya huyo mtu, ya mtu wako. Akiendezo mamikutano zao, DCI mali wako wanasikia conversation. Watu wengine mali wako wanasikia conversation waliziko. Google balloon ilikuja hapa juzi uhuru wakana usia watu wameletewa Google balloon for internet. Amuku jua ni intelligence uhuru anawafanyia. Ana, ana watu wanafikiria gava ni fala, lakini in the real sense, hawa watu wote watamadwa one by one. Wengo jo ujione, lakini ka safe. Sawa, ka safe na uende chini ya maji. Na ikieze kana, uzijaribu kuongea. Mina kuambia Edgar, life ni fickle sana. Kuna mtu wameka mahali, anangoja dilia milioni mia. Alafu anaona, alafu anaona wewe umepost uneza mwaribia hiyo deal ama uneza leta numa fulani kwa hiyo deal kwa nini wewe usishandwe kwa nini wasipange wasike afu acha nikwambia kuna watu ruthless kama watu wanakula pesa ya wanaume wenzao bure juu watu wa wash wash ni watu wa kudi yani ni kama mimi ukiniuliza watu wa wash wash ni kama mashoga ni watu watu wa kukula pesa ya wanaume wenzao bure ajachokea pesa ajui kwenye pesa imetoka ana, anaibia mwanaume mwenzake afu anaditamba huku nje akijifanya yeye ndio king Wacha ni kuambie mtajua gava ni kusema nini. Awa watu mark my words one after the other tutawazika. Hata dipi mwenyewe tunamzika. Unajua the epitome of all this. DP juzi mtoi wake ameolewa. Ameolewa na nani? Si ameolewa na mnaija. In other words, Kenya mnafamuelewe inchi iko kwa hatari. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu DP anajipanga in such a way that akiingia anataka tengeneze do yake yani anataka tengeneze do iko na uso yake unajua hiyo ita setback economy vibaya sana juu kabla hiyo do yake ikuje ipate nguvu tutakuwa tumeumia economically na nani anataka waumia economically wa kikuyu si ati ninaongea hivyo ati juu ya o, juu ya nini ama nini zi lakini obviously zile vitu zenye zinapangwa sio vitu nzuri na sio vitu zinafaa zitufae sisi unaelewa So watu wa wash wash ukiona mtu anapiga wash wash anafanya ukora na vijana achana nao kabisa juu wanaogopa hata DP anaweza tajwa so achana hiyo story juu usuna reza than later mtu ataongea tu aseme eh hata deputy ama kwa nini hata tumejoaji deputy anafanyaga si ni hao wanaongea nikwambie kitu una wewe ukipost vitu ukipost mambo yako Try ku post sana vitu za relationship za, za mapenzi za nini. Avoid sana vitu za gava. Avoid vitu za gava juu zitakuletea shida. Gava inaitwa serikali juu siri yenye na kwa gemebeba ni kali sana. Mimi saa hii nakuambia do ili demonetizewa juu ya di, di, juu ya DP. Mm. But huwezi sikia anywhere else. Hakuna mtu anajua siri yenye inafanyika behind the curtains kati ya ugomvi ya uhuru na Ruto. But the truth is Uhuru na Gava wana try sana ku control ukora ya Ruto. Ujamaa kwa na ukora yenye jaionekana. Hakuna politician ako na ukora kama yeye. Na watu wako tanga tanga wako saidi yake kwa sababu anawaonesha miradi za do. Yaani hawa yuko saidi yake atijua anaturumia sisi kama wananchi. Anaonesha watu miradi za do. Na miradi za do ni kuibia wanaume wenzake. Sasa hiyo ni heshima gani mtu anajiitati yeye anataka kuwa leader na yeye mwenyewe ni mwizi. Rudisha akili yako nyuma I wish yani ni saa zingine na wish gine za kachini na wewe nikupe tu file ya DP ama nikupe ubaya sasa huu unaweza run story ya DP wewe uki run story ya DP umeenda umeenda jo eh but sasa honestly <laughs> honestly somebody should tell you so that you can know and stay away from these people 
Watu wa washu wash ni watu wa DP, mtu asikudanganye. Hakuna cha big boy. Mtu anaibia Mwarabu, anaibia mkubwa wa Dubai na kombaka sahi. Wewe unafikiria gava ama unafikiria wata, ah, watu watakuja kufanywa aji? Tunawazika one after the other, one after the other. Wewe utakuwa tu unasikia mtu sijio, oh sijio, but wote sikudanganyi wanazikwa. Yaani ni kunoma mwezi kwa wanomo hezi kwa wamegeuza nchi at unajua Nigeria venye inaogopa inaogopa economically hivyo ndio Kenya inaenda kuogopwa pia kwa sababu watu wamekuwa sasa investor hezi kuja akul, afanye